I, I, I just eat vegan and raw as much as possible, and it's really changed my body, and it's made me a lot, it made me feel better, and my stomach doesn't hurt anymore. Go free to try some. This is Freely Banana Girl here. Welcome to another episode. So today's video is on Demi Lovato. I think that's how you pronounce it. If it isn't, leave it in the comments below. I'm sure you will anyway. So she is on Instagram here. She's got 18.8 million followers. So she's got a shitload of followers. And I didn't actually know who she was. I'm like, Demi Lovato, who is that? So I looked her up, had a little bit of a look around, and she's actually a child celebrity star. She was from Barney and Friends. And also Disney, a Disney star, like a lot of these celebrities like uh, Miley Cyrus, uh, Selena Gomez, and a few others as well. So she's in the public eye a lot. She has been her whole entire life, so she has a lot of pressure on her. So I had a lot of requests from you fruit bats to make a video on her. And I'm like, why do I need to make a video on this girl? Why do I need to make a video? So I did a bit of research and I found out that she has... Been having some weight struggles, some eating disorder struggles, some cutting. She's been cutting herself, issues like that, bulimia. So yes, she is definitely someone who needs assistance. So if you have a look around, you'll find some um, articles like this one, for instance. I can't tell you I haven't thrown up or cut myself. Here comes a plane. Go little plane. Go fly away so I can make my YouTube video. Yes, indeed. I can't tell you. I haven't thrown up or cut myself since rehab Demi Lovato reveals she battles with her eating disorder and self-harm issues every day. So that's really, that's pretty scary. It is, you know, you don't want to be cutting yourself to do a food. No way in the world. So I wanted to find out what is she eating? What is this girl eating? So I had a look around. I found like a Twitter post from her saying, I haven't eaten meat in almost 10 months. I couldn't find out where that was from, like what time, you know, was it last year, was it this year, but that was a good sign in itself. And I also find, found out that she eats a lot of raw foods. So I have a video here, let's listen to the video. Let's see what she has to say. And I love the picture for Really Don't Care. With a little bra top, you look incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing. Tell me about this raw diet you've been doing. Um, I try to eat raw food like whenever possible. Um, I don't eat it all the time just because I'm the type of person that if I do something, if I go all one way, I like get burnt out. And so what I'm doing is I'm gluten and I'm gluten free and dairy free because I'm allergic to them. So yeah, I, I, I just eat vegan and raw as much as possible and it's really changed my body and it's made me a lot it made me feel better and my stomach doesn't hurt anymore i think that's fantastic that is awesome that she's eating a lot of um, vegan and raw food and i don't know what else she's eating at this stage i'm not too sure but um i think that's fantastic and the way she said oh if i go too far into it you know i start to you know it doesn't work for me being extreme and that sort of thing that makes me feel like she's trying to be 100% raw and yes, that can be an issue because people tend to go for this purity thing, they're like all raw or nothing and that can be an issue especially if you've had some eating disorder problems in your past and you've been cutting like she has. So let's have another look around here. So I was obsessed with food, um, she nearly went back to rehab, so she's been in and out of rehab and... Okay, here's a picture of her eating raw has never tasted so good. Cheesy Alfredo pasta, kelp noodles, and raw vegan cheese made from cashews. So this right here is a fucking mistake, okay? This is a mistake. Carbohydrates, almost zero, okay? Those kelp noodles are like, I think they're zero carbohydrates. You're getting no good brain nourishment out of this. And this is what happened. These people, they fill up on this. They fill up on the high fat foods. And then their brain's going, where's the fucking sugar? Where's the carbohydrates? And then all of a sudden they have a massive binge out. This big binge. You know what I'm talking about. All of you have probably done it one point or another. I've done it myself a million times in the past before this lifestyle. This massive ass binge. And you just go crazy. You just stuff everything in. Stuff, 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 stuff. And then people like Demi and like myself have had bulimia in the past, eh, spew it up. Okay, so that's what happened in my past. And this lifestyle is how I overcame bulimia. The high carb, vegan, raw till four lifestyle is how I overcome my bulimic tendencies. And that's how you can too, Demi. You can get on this lifestyle and it's going to help nourish your brain so you don't actually feel like binging out all the time. It is so, so powerful 
for that. And I can tell that Demi's still, you know, suffering from going back and forth with her weight as well, up and down. Because, you know, she's throwing up, she's starving herself, her metabolism is screwed. So it doesn't know what to do. So the way to heal your metabolism is to come onto this lifestyle because this is what eventually heals your, your metabolism if you stay on long enough. I also went to her Instagram and I noticed that she's not well a lot of the time. You know, she's always like posting this. This says help. She's got some allergy thing going on here. Uh, she's into the green tea, so she's not eating enough at some points and she's smashing in the green tea, which is a stimulant. So that's suppressing her appetite and it's making her colon weak, which is not good when you have bulimia, when you're on and off bulimia. She's into the coffee a lot. So tired this morning, I made coffee without a mug again. So the girl is exhausted. Okay, she's exhausted. She's reaching for the stimulants. She's having a binge out sessions because she's not eating the right food. She's not getting the nutrition from the correct food. She's trying to get it from the animal products and from basically junk food and it's not hitting the brain as it should with carbohydrates and fruit and rice and pasta and potatoes would. So we got here more black coffee. So lots and lots of coffee in her life. So let's have a look down here at this interview that she had. What's your favorite meal? A turkey patty in a lettuce wrap with vegan cheese. Okay, so right there you see the problem. She's on this low carb diet. She's avoiding carbohydrates because she believes all this carb hype that carbs make you fat. And so she's avoiding the carbs like anything. See a turkey patty in a lettuce wrap with vegan cheese, you are not getting any carbohydrates, virtually no carbohydrates with that. Great that it's vegan cheese, that is fantastic. But she's not doing it for ethical reasons, she's doing it because she's lactose intolerant, like everyone is by the way. Um, ketchup, tomato, cider, sweet potatoes, that's good. She's getting some sweet potatoes, but it's probably only a very small portion. I love tacos made with ground turkey and spinach on a corn tortilla wrapped with lettuce, vegan cheese, hot sauce. She's not getting enough carbs, folks, and that's why she is in this you know, binge cycle that she is, bulimia, starve, bulimia, um, and cutting as well. So Demi, try the Raw to 4 lifestyle. I cured myself of years and years of bulimia, okay, spewing my guts up all the time, feeling terrible, weight like massive fluctuations in weight. And all of you who are watching me have seen that I have not had massive fluctuations in weight over the last years that have been on this lifestyle. So it works, it really, really does work, but you've got to obviously do it and stick to it and be patient and realize healing takes time. So that's my video for today. Let me know in the comments below who you want me to help next video and I'll check it out. Don't forget to go fruit yourself or root yourself and I'll see you soon. I, I, I just eat vegan and raw as much as possible and it's really changed my body and it's made me a lot, it made me feel better and, my stomach doesn't hurt anymore. It's really changed my body and it's made me a lot. It made me feel better and my stomach doesn't hurt anymore.